Maria is a timid young girl. Her father, Dan, is a plastic surgeon and a perfectionist, while her mother, Amy, deals with several nightmares and is depressed. Maria has no friends, except Lily, who has been with her since they were young. The movie begins with Maria walking outside the house to meet Lily, who walks with her to the school bus. After Lily enters the bus and gets to her seat, and as Maria is about to walk to her seat, her bully, Mark, puts his leg across her way, preventing her from passing. The bus eventually reaches school and Maria walks with Lily who finds another friend on the road and stops walking with her. She walks alone feeling disturbed by the other students behind, so she puts her earpiece on. That day at school, Lily takes Maria to watch her boyfriend Sean during his skating practice. As Sean plays, Maria looks at him in admiration since she has a crush on him, even though he is dating her best friend. Lily goes to the pitch and kisses Sean, thereby disturbing the game. That night at home, Amy tries to tell Maria about an old friend whom she knew from elementary school, George. Even before she continues, Maria tells her she isn't interested in meeting with anyone, but Dan insists Amy talks. Amy advises that Maria should meet up with George and they should attend the prom together, but Maria rejected it and says that prom is a stupid activity. While Amy tries to convince her, Maria leaves the table and goes to her room. Dan claims Maria is a screwed up kid, and the earlier Amy realizes that, the better. He says Maria has no friends and Lily is just a habit, and Maria hasn't spoken to any boy before. Maria overhears all of this and she walks to her room. Behind her mirror, she finds a sonogram of twins. Feeling puzzled as she looks at the mirror again, she goes to the bathroom to have her bath, and she notices her reflection in the mirror is moving on its own. She jumps off instantly and after getting more courage, she walks back and cleans the mirror, only to confirm that she wasn't hallucinating. Feeling shocked, she runs out immediately. She couldn't sleep well that night, and before going to school, she tries to tell her father what she saw, but he was more concerned about her looking bad. He asks her to put some makeup on, saying it would make her feel more confident. While doing so, her reflection in the mirror moves on its own again. But she didn't see it. She walks to the junction to meet Lily, who brings a new car and picks her up. Lily also picks up Sean, and as he enters the car, they kiss emotionally while Maria watches them from behind. They arrive at school and Mark uses his leg to trip Maria on the walk away. Sean immediately walks towards Maria and pulls her up. He tries to caution Mark for what he has done, but Mark and his friends mock Sean that his standards have lowered. Even Lily tells him that Maria isn't worth the fight. School time ends and Maria returns home. At night she hears someone calling her name and she returns to the bathroom and sees her reflection. She insists that she is just imagining things but the reflection speaks to her and tells her she isn't imagining because it's real. She says she has always been with her and she is everywhere with her. She tells her they are the same, they are beautiful, confident, and she knows everything Maria knows. She knows what Maria wants, who Maria hates, and who Maria loves. Maria then asks her reflection for her name and she says she is Ira. The following day, she dresses up beautifully and tells her parents she will attend prom, although she doesn't know who she is going with. Her parents are so excited and Dan even tells her it is a significant improvement for her. At school that day, Lily reminds her they are to skate together because Maria asks Lily to teach her how to skate. She asks that they go that day, but Maria says she has an appointment with her father for a father-daughter date that evening, so they will go the following day instead. Maria saw them kissing again, and she looks into the mirror, and her reflection smiles at her. That evening after Dan finishes work, one of his female clients tries to get close to him, but he rejects and watches a movie with Maria instead. After the movie, Mark intentionally crashes into Maria. He apologizes and introduces himself to Dan, saying he also wants to be a doctor and would like to meet Dan. On their way home, Dan promises Maria an early birthday gift and asks her to come the following day. Maria excitedly tells Iram, hoping the gift will be a car. But Iram tells her Dan doesn't care about her. Dan later reveals his gift to Maria is that he would redesign her face to make her more beautiful and she accepts with disappointment. She returns home depressed and she depends on Iram to console her. That night, Amy notices Maria is sneaking alone. She tells Dan, who insists it's Amy's anxiety, kicking in again and sets her to sleep. The following day, Maria goes skating with Lily and she starts the training. Lily leaves her on the ice and tells her Sean is hers no matter what Maria does. Maria tries to convince her that she doesn't care about Sean, but Lily leaves her on the floor and skates away. Maria returns home disheartened. Iram reminds her of other times when Lily had intentionally left her and convinces her that Lily is not her friend. She says she has the solution to all of Maria's problems and tells Maria to touch her two palms and kiss her. As soon as she is about to kiss, Amy coincidentally calls her. Amy then gives her a gift asking her to ensure she enjoys the prom. 
She gets to the prom, Sean welcomes her and they start dancing in each other's arms. As she dances, she sees Lily looking at her awkwardly and she falls nervously. Sean is about to offer help but Lily interrupts him. Mark pretends to offer help and he humiliated her by dragging her around on the ice, while the crowd watches and laughs at her. Maria returns home embarrassed and she decides to allow Iram to fully take control of her life. She kisses Iram and they successfully exchange bodies. The following day, Amy asks about the prom and Iram says it was awesome. At school, Mark tries to mock Iram but she walks closer to him and whispers into her ears that he bullies her because he gets a hard on whenever he sees her. She touches his crotch and licks his ear before leaving. Sean is shocked at what just happened and goes to give Iram the pin she lost at the prom, and Lily comes to apologize for not stopping Mark. She tells Lily it's no worry and she isn't at fault and asks Lily to continue teaching her how to skate. She visits her dad's office, calls one of his concubines for an appointment, and also the secretary calls Amy. Amy meets the lady at the elevator and the girl says she is putting on Dan's favorite clothes. Amy goes home depressed and Dan doesn't come home that night. At home, Iram confronts her to admit that her marriage is pathetic, but Amy slaps her. Maria doesn't like how harsh Iram is to Amy, but Iram insists she is doing all Maria wants to do. She claims she is doing the things she always wanted to do, and Maria will appreciate her for it. Later, she continues with her skating training secretly. She waits for Mark to finish his training that evening, and she tricks him into the bathroom, where she hits one of his knees and tells him to shut his mouth, and she smiles. That day while driving, Lily notices her new cheerful and carefree spirit, as they get to the abandoned ice grounds where they skate. Lily makes several hard moves and Iram follows suit. She's shocked Iram could pull the moves off until Iram eventually falls. Instead of helping her get up, she laughs at her. When Iram gets up, she chases Lily until Lily falls and hits her head. She watches her until she dies before calling the police about the accident. Later in the bathroom, Maria confronts Iram for her wrongdoings, but Iram says she's doing it for her. Iram attempts Lily's funeral, but leaves. Sean consoles her as she says she can't deal with it. She visits Sean at night and while he tries to console her, she touches him and they have intercourse. Later she goes on her date with Dan and she behaves in a very awful manner while eating and even puts her leg on the chair. Dan gets embarrassed and takes out his phone to show her a reflection of herself, saying she looks pathetic. She puts her leg down and looks at him with unhappiness. Iram starts flirting with Sean openly and they both cut school to make out every time. One day, as they drive to school, she suggests visiting a motel and he follows. As they arrive, she receives a call from his mother that the police are waiting for him at school for interrogation with Iram, since they have found out she is going out with Lily's best friend. He ends the call and asks Iram to leave with him, but she refuses. She asks if he still cares about Lily and asks him to stay with her, but he pushes her away. She takes a bottle and hits his head and he dies. Feeling terrified, she cries in the bathroom with Maria. Amy gets a nightmare recalling the day she gave birth to twins. One of them was deformed and Dan insisted they dispose of the child while they kept only Maria. Iram pretends to be drunk and visits Dan. She strips herself naked asking him if she is beautiful. He says yes, and she asks if he would love her even though she is deformed. He says yes, but she kills him. She cries saying why he couldn't love her too. Later, she calls Maria in the mirror but Maria doesn't respond. She throws the scalpel away and returns home. She joins Amy in bed and the movie ends with Maria and Iram lying alongside Amy. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, leave a like to help the channel out, also comment if you'd like us to recap your favorite movie. Thanks for watching.